Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a former Boeing 737 pilot and welcome to this tutorial on the secure procedure in the iFly Boeing 737 MAX as well as a couple of neat informations about some of the stuff that are kind of related to this or at least used in accordance in the real airplane. So the secure procedure is basically started as soon as all the passengers are off board and only trained staff such as cabin crew, engineers, cleaners, etc. are on board the aircraft. So once everyone is off we are going to do the following. The IRS mode selectors are going to go into the off position. Moving down, if the APU was not shut off at this point yet, then we would consider shutting the APU down now since it needs a minute to actually um, run down and then close the APU intake door. Since we're running on the ground power that's not too much of a problem though. Next up the emergency exit lights go into the off position, the packs are turned off and the trim air is also turned off. Now with all of that done and once the APU is shut down and secured we can go ahead and turn off the ground power unit and then also turn off the battery and that basically come on here we go and that basically shuts the entire aircraft down now in the iFly there is one very interesting feature modeled so shutting the aircraft down would normally lead to everything going dark during daylight hours not too much of a problem but during hours of night time, that can be quite an issue if you still have some stuff to do. Now, what are we going to do against this? What you would normally do in the real world before you shut down the um, external power switch in the cockpit is that you would ask your colleague to hold the ground service push button that you can see right over here. And iFly have modeled this. Now, let's go ahead and just turn the... Um, time into night time over here so that I can show you what this looks like in action. So now the aircraft is fully shut down and that has turned off all the lights as well. But if we now press the ground service push button the entire cabin is going to be powered up again so that cleaners or whatever kind of staff you have on board could start with their work while the pilots or engineers as applicable are going to leave. So the ground service bus basically adds power to the cabin but removes power from the flight deck. Now if we are talking about this already there are a couple of nice options in the iFly that you can do down here on the um, cabin attendant panel. For instance you could set different Lighting conditions such as this one for um, night or sleep conditions or you could set for instance um, the bright lights for boarding or deboarding. So that's pretty cool stuff that you can do down here in the iFly but that's just a little bonus to this video. So I do hope that you found this video interesting. This is basically the condition in which you would leave the aircraft. The ground service bus is really as needed. Um, when everyone is off and when you know that the aircraft is going to be secured for the night, just turn the ground service bus off. There is really nothing that you need to take into consideration here. And that is your flight completed. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this one interesting. As always, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and leave your feedback in the video description below. And if you really love what I'm doing on this channel, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. You've made it through all of the 737 MAX standard tutorials. There will pretty surely be a couple more about Arnav approaches, Orderlands and the likes in the future. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'm looking forward to see you all on the next one. In the meantime, enjoy your flights on the iFly Boeing 737 MAX.